Riley. Riley. J Rock Hands come back back to you too. too. What is happening in Nate with the millions? (laughs) And millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world, you're right here with J Rock. And J Rock is here because we're about to check out, watch, react to some new Resident Evil 3 remake game play that just dropped. I don't want to waste no time, so we're going to get him right into this. Here, where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Hey, welcome, welcome to another episode, episode of New Gameplay with Dave Rose, Jeff Lewis, Jeff Lewis, Jeff my dear sweet friends, Ben Reeves. Aw, love you. Hey, Leo Vader. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's nothing scary, scary happening yet. Oh, yeah. 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 Why yeah. would it? What are we looking at here, Ben Reeves? This is Resident Evil 3. 3. Yeah. The remake. Ah! So Capcom. Capcom. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, you saw, saw this recently. recently. Yeah. You know, the remake 2 just came out last year, so it's been a whole year. What is the next game? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, so, so I went, went down, down and I played, played this and I played the multiplayer briefly and I had right. a good time. Really? Yeah. So, so if you're someone, someone who played Resident Evil 3 a long time ago and has not touched it since, and theoretically this person has forgotten all about it, sure. what is Resident Evil 3 about? Is that all they've forgotten if they lost their memory entirely? No. Well, they remember, like, uh, there was at least in the original release a character named Carlos. Okay. Well, well, they, they might, might not recognize him because he looks completely different, different but, but that's, that's who we're following, right? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the game, game is... They, they call it a reimagining. They mm-hmm. use that word a lot because if you play 2 in the remake of 2, you know that those games are very different. different. Yeah. So they're following in that spirit with this. But it is starring Jill mm-hmm. here. Uh, that's Jill Valentine. Valentine. That's Jill Valentine. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. Oh, this is an aside, but like, there's a character in the, the multiplayer segment of the game mm-hmm. called Resistance. One, one of the characters' names is Martin Sandwich. That's yeah. Like, that's his actual name. Martin Sandwich. They, that's not canonical, correct? Everything that happens in that mode. Uh, I think he's uh, Jill's son. Jill's no, son, Martin Sandwich. That is definitely not canonical. Yeah. 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 All right. That mode is not going to hold you all. Okay. I'm interested to see more of that mode. Yeah. I mean, we don't have B-roll in that mode, but I'll say that I actually had a good time, surprisingly. Yeah, great. Like, I don't expect much from multiplayer Resident Evil games, but like, I, I, I can see myself playing them. How similar was this to Resident Evil 2 Remake? Uh, gameplay wise? Sure. Yeah. So the game, so you might actually see it here. There's a dodge. Whoa! Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, good. I didn't see it. What was it? That's the dodge move. move. So in the original game that came out in like ninety nine, Resident Evil Three, yeah, there that included a dodge move, like that was mm-hmm. innovations. But it was really finicky and hard to pull off. Yeah. So they've they've reimagined it, and it's it's actually easier to do. Like there's still a yeah. little skill involved because it's a timing thing. You have to do it right before the attack. It's, it's like, like dodging for a new generation of players. players. That's right. That's Power cool. Is what I like to say. Yeah. And this and dodge right there. Power. Okay, now she's gonna be a zombie, right? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, she's <laughs> done for. Yeah. yeah, right, right at the, the beginning. beginning. Oh boy. So, so are these canonical bites, or is it just whoever's flying is not doing? No, it's, it's kind of like Martin Sandwich. Oh, okay. Bites don't really exist in the canon. Okay. okay. But, but yeah, yeah, so, so like like, like two, two, like the remake of two, like mm-hmm. the game is like, the game plays pretty well. It's like yeah. different shooters you can see. You explore different environments, collect stuff, like in the Resident Evil games, and then those items still off the areas. Right. Uh, I, think I think the, the gameplay, gameplay is really solid. Uh, uh, the gameplay. Gameplay. It's, it's a little bit slower, slower than a normal shooter. shooter. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, asked I asked a question a earlier. It was a super meandering question. question. I'll, I'll just get, get right, right to it. it. What uh, is Resident, Resident Evil 3 about? about? I forgot. It's, it's been a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is this what you were getting at? Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't understand what you were going for. I was trying to be subtle, and I'm just going to have to unsheath the hammer. Resident Evil 3, starring Jill Valentine. Yes. Oh, I, here's an aside. Mark Sandwich. No, <laughs> Resident Evil 3, uh, starring Jill, Jill Valentine. It's yeah. during the events of Resident Evil 2, kind of right around there. Mm-hmm. It takes place a little bit before, a little bit after. Yeah. Uh, so it's all about her surviving the Raccoon City outbreak. Surviving? surviving? Oh, 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 or maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> it's her journey through the outbreak. Yeah. Resident Evil 2 was a sweet spot for me as far as. 
good, good controls, like, like felt, felt like tight gunplay, gunplay but not a full action, action game, game, still very scary, still felt like you weren't in control. control. But having a dodge, dodge move like that gives me Resident Evil 6 flashbacks. Are there, Are there other things like that that make it more action-y, or does it still feel very scary? I'll say that's a big thing. You can notice there's, like, environmental hazards. You can shoot, like, that electric thing. You can just stun a couple of the zombies. Um, the defensive items are gone. They're kind of replaced by that dodge move. But when you do the... Well, I, I think I ended up liking it, because it feels different, right? Yeah, and if you, you, you can pull off the dodge as many times as you want, so it's not like a limited resource. Not actually that with the stamina. That was the, that was the, that was the cool part about the defensive items for me, is that it was kind of the management, management of resources. Yes, yeah. I, I agree. I do like it, but... This, this kind of fills that spot, spot. and I, I did, did like the dodge. dodge. The more I used it, we'll, we'll see if she uses it again. But then, when you dodge, dodge you can, can like pull up your gun, gun and kind of enters the slow mo. Kind of enters into, into slow, motion, slow motion, and she zooms in on her head, so you get a few couple of headshots on her. Right, if you're good. So that's a lot of fun. So I think that in and of itself is kind of the big action element to it. But it's, but it's not, not it's not quite, quite actiony to, to the extreme that six was. Right. Yeah. yeah. I actually kind of prefer this kind of little bit of slower action. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Now, was, was, was three, three the one that had nemesis, nemesis in it? It is. Yeah, yeah I might see them there in a minute. That's gross, cool, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, so this is, is the area she's just <laughs> trying to get to um, this power station and turn back on the power. Right. So she kind of enters in this maze and has to like flip all these breakers, but there's these little bugs yeah. skittering around, and they can infect her with their bug juice. Yeah. And yeah. There's, there's a thing you read earlier on, it's like, hey, I got infected, but I ate a plant, and then I, I barked up the bugs. So, so it's kind of this thing, you get infected with the plant, and you'll kill yourself. A greener? Or any plant? A greener, yeah. Oh, okay. Boom! Oh, watch out! What are you doing? How, How can she, she not constantly be saying, this is the grossest, grossest thing that is imaginable? <laughs> or just like, like every step, step like, like what is, you're not getting too old for this or something like that? Or just, or just constantly Damn. screaming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like going like for or as scared as I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is super <laughs> gross, though, because the stuff that's just sort of dripping. Yeah, oh, it's, it's like hitting her, she's not reacting, she doesn't like even go, ugh, yuck, yeah. Because I'll, like, like my, my wife will, like, sometimes, sometimes like, like, touch me with her floss, floss or something. I'm like, ugh, gross, it's floss. I don't want to... Yeah. It's my favorite dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your own personal <laughs> space. You got fun. We, we have, have a lot of fun, Dan. I don't know why she's not shooting. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't either. There's some weird choices in that gameplay. Game yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Were yeah. So, so how, how is Nemesis, Nemesis different, different from, from Mr. X in the Resident Evil 2 remake? Like, well, you might notice he has some tendrils there. Okay. So that's Get over here! I think he's a little bit faster, too. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a little bit bigger. And got, got no hat. hat. <laughs> he got no hat. But he can use those tendrils to whip out and like, grab you if you're running away. Yeah. 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 Can, I think he does it in a bit. He like, jumps in front of you. So he's more mobile. And then you can also use... Come <laughs> so, okay. He also just looks totally different. But, but so later on in the game, he'll pick up different, different a variety of weapons. weapons. Whoa! Yeah. There he is. Oh. Shoot, Shoot the, the generator! generator. Uh, uh, this, this is a no, no bullet, bullet run, apparently, in this footage here, so. <laughs> oh, we should be clear this is footage that Capcom has provided. This is not you playing because you'd be doing so much better. And you would have picked up the handgun ammo. You would have died maybe in a different You are dead. Uh, that, that, this is, video looks like a game for that fans of in-game signs. So I'm noticing the streets of Raccoon City, City a lot of really cool signs. Yeah, yeah. Jim's Crabs, I think, is my favorite one so far. Toy Uncle, Uncle looks really good. It's a super store. Super, super shop. Moon's Donuts, naturally. Yeah, yeah this, this, obviously, none of these places existed right. in the original three. But there, there are, are some areas, areas where you're like, oh, this kind of lines up with, like, 3. Did you revisit Resident Evil 3 before checking out the remake? I did, actually. How so close is this to, like, how things were laid out? Uh, it's very, very different, yeah. Uh, there are some areas where you're like, oh, that's kind of one of one, like, in area with an explosive barrel. Yeah. Early on in 3, you're like, oh, that's kind of similar to, like, the barrel scene here. There's a scene where these zombies push over a fence, but, like, the layout was completely different. Yeah. 
And actually, that's one thing I like, because the original, like, 363 was a little bit more linear. Yeah. And this, they've, they've kind of padded out the areas so you're exploring them a little bit more, so you're using different things that on a lot of areas. And kind of yeah. What is going on with the, the wig that Carlos is very clearly wearing? <laughs> He's very ashamed of his ball heads. That is a cheap wig. Wow. Looking like Russell Wilson just, just came like out, of the, cosplayers. out of Florida really, with the humidity. Just like way to go, guys. Here you go. <laughs> you, you don't have to spend it very much money on your wig. I was talking to some of those guys, and they're like, I used to ask something about Carlos, and they're like, oh, we think it looks good. Uh, <laughs> just immediately, they're like, <laughs> yeah, like, what do you think? No, we like his hair a lot like, so much. Oh, I wasn't even talking about that, but okay. Like, I think they got some hidden online or something. Yeah, people probably saw it. What is that? It looks bad and weird, right? What happened? Well, his original design is just like a super normal looking dude. He's got a normal... I guess it's worth it. Any attention is good attention, right? Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah? It makes him, uh, give him a distinct personality. <laughs> so, so you did, did play this yourself? yourself? It looks but like not this footage. Nice person. Person. Uh, I did play this section. I did not have Were you scared? Yeah, yeah, I was actually very scared because the nemesis is chasing me right now. But do you think it's scarier than Mr. X? From a resident? It's so hard to tell because I spent so much more time with losing a tooth in the Yeah. And in some ways it does feel kind of like a, oh, here's another take on that concept. Mm -hmm. But, but I mean, the, the music, music they throw at me is really intense. So I, I could see myself playing it and being like more terrified of it. It's yeah, hard to tell with the lighting with, and the uh, shadows. Bunch of idiots talking over the footage whether it's going to be super scary. Or not. Yeah. I wonder if Mr. X's or the Nemesis. They're the same in my mind. They look pretty similar. They're a little tired. Yeah. The Nemesis's new abilities will be like more annoying and scary. Where that's from? The way Mr. X stopped at you and had a bit more of an understated design. It was really creepy. And the image of it really stuck with me for a long time. The way Nemesis looks a little more just kind of generic to be really neat. That's an interesting point. Yeah, yeah I, will I will say, Mr. X, X I felt like got to a point where it's like he wasn't really that threatening anymore. Like, like, like he wasn't that scared. Uh, like, hell? Worried that I would die, die from him. him. Sure. Well, what? Tyrant, I think, think is going to be a force where I can die. Talk about that. This is what we're looking at right now. That's more interesting. What is, which Pokemon is that? That's Squirtle's fourth form. Good grief, you should have stopped his feet. That was really scary. That's one of the Hunter variants. Beep, 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 beep. Which they were in the original. a big ass frog. Yeah. How long, when did the original come out? 99. Wow. So it's it's been over 20 years now. Which is crazy. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was played the first one. Released, like, a year after the original. The game but scared the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. So they've been, so they've been working, working on this one in parallel with the, uh, the second, second one. Yeah, yeah. so this so development on this remake, remake started before two remakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you ask them if they're going to do a remake of four? Or are they... Yeah, surprisingly, yeah, they wouldn't tell, tell me their plans. Oh, interesting. Like, tell, tell me what you were like a big frog. They got to ask you like a question. No, thank you. I ain't talking to you. But, but they, they, they seem kind of coy about, about it. I couldn't get a good, good sense. sense. Like, it seems like they weren't... Seriously? There, there were no, were like, coy, like, oh, maybe we'll see. It was kind of more like, well, I don't know. So, so I kind of got the impression that that old thing, where they go for, careful what you wish for. Take this with a grain of salt, but I got the impression that they're not necessarily working on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You better stop that little roll. This would be awesome. It would. It's one of those things where, like, Two and three definitely needed mm -hmm. all gameplay wise. Yeah. In addition to visually, whereas four really just needs an overall vision. Yeah. Not even an overall, it still looks decent. So, this is one of those weapons you were talking about. Yeah, this is a boss fight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard me say weapon earlier. Yeah. He's not good at it yet. I would call a full throw a weapon. Yeah. He's giving, giving you a big, big shot, shot across, across the bow, bow just as a warning. <laughs> like, this, this could be you. No, seriously, seriously, I want you. So, so the goal, goal here is to shoot the tank on his back and it blows up. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a flame. Obviously. Flame. <laughs> We've been down this road. <laughs> well, I just wasn't sure if the person who was playing this had totally forgot oh, oh, all video <laughs> games or this is just the original. Yeah. yeah. Again, Jill really should be saying something here. Like, I'm on fire. Yeah. This guy is big. Like my Mondays, Mondays or my, my neck, neck hurts, hurts from when he just pulled me up a ladder by my head. head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go to a chiropractor now. 
Maybe they got like, like one, one rut row. That's all. Yeah. Why ain't you to a dodge the character? We're playing this. Well, yeah, there you go. Resident, Resident Evil 3 comes, comes out really soon. soon. Yeah, that's soon. soon. Boy, I wish I had that. Well, sometimes it's here. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll be around. I hope. Okay, I hope so. Right, Stall while I look it up, guys. Still be alive. Stall. Well, I, I, I hope I don't run into a nemesis oh, before on fire. Uh, now in the yeah. impending release date. <laughs> yeah. Check that. Ape Broiler. Third. April third. There it is. You're here you're first. Game comes out April third. All right. <laughs> Thanks for showing this off, and we're just talking over it. We really appreciate it. That's your cue to say thank you. Oh, wow. yeah, you're, <laughs> you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Bye. Ha ha ha. What, what a fantastic episode of New Gameplay today. Come, Come back, back every, every week, week for fun, fun information. J-Rock says this. J-Rock can't wait to play this. J-Rock played part two. Really like part two, the remake. So J-Rock wants to play part three. Might even do some gameplay on the people's chat. But we'll see. Um, one of the things J-Rock has always wanted in Resident Evil characters, characters, the playable characters, the PCs, to be less stiff, less, less rigid. The fact that they put a, a dodge feature in this game is good, but I'm like, why can't you only just do that? You can't run, you can't run that fast. You can't jump. You should be able to run and jump over cover, pick up and throw things. That would make the game a lot more interesting. But I think they want to keep it more on the horror side of things, more less than an action part of it. But that's what J-Rock would like to see. Be that as it may, J-Rock's still going to be playing this game. Oh, you can rest assured, bet your bottom dollar. J-Rock will be playing Resident Evil 3, the remake. The remix. Doesn't matter what you call it, J-Rock was going to be playing it. Nonetheless, post your comments down below and let J-Rock know if you thought of this video, you appreciate it and enjoy it. J-Rock's reaction to this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Also, check out the other videos on the People's Channel as well. Lastly, that baby, so you can be notified that it is time, baby, to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Kobe and Gigi. Forever. If you smell, how? What J-Rock is.